Are you looking to spoil your child or maybe your grandchild? Well, I might have the thing just for you. This is the brand new Himaway C1. In this full review, I'm gonna walk through all the components, then we'll get into some first person riding footage and finally some third person riding footage where I'll give you my concluding thoughts on this children's electric bike. But first, let's take a closer look. I said spoil, so what are we looking at as far as cost? The C1 comes in at $7.99. There'll be a link down in the description if you do decide to purchase and perhaps a discount code as well. And of course, ordering through our link is a free and easy way to help support the channel. So thank you so much in advance. Now I also said electric bike, but it's not an electric bike at all. It's actually more of an electric scooter or moped resembling more of the moped style e-bikes that you see on the channel. So forgive me if I call it an e-bike throughout this video. And on that topic, I'm not even gonna claim to know what the regulations are around the US. So do your own research depending on where you live. But what I do know is this is a super fun electric vehicle for kids. For $7.99, I personally believe this is well-priced, partly because it's more of a niche product for children that's just going to limit the amount of units that they can sell, but also because it's pretty clear to me that Hemiway thought about how they spec'd this bike. Let's talk colors because that's going to be important to any child who gets one of these. Comes in cyan, bluish gray, white, and what my child picked, coral. The C1 weighs in at just 32 pounds. Good for riders, at least according to Hemiway, down to three foot three, up to four foot nine. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about sizing later in the video. They also give an age range, four years old up to 12 years old. And you shouldn't have to worry about weight capacity. It's rated up to 165 pounds, which is good news because then I can try it before I let any child ride this. Stay tuned for the first person riding footage. Starting off in the front, we have 16 inch by three inch wide Innova tires street tread. They're using a regular tube and tire setup. There's the valve right there angled so you can get a tire pump on it much easier. It's a bolt on front axle with tabbed washers that go into the fork. It's a rigid front fork, Himaway badge on the head tube, a few cables coming in here going into the frame, nicely integrated. These are BMX style handlebars and Himaway even put a branded pad on the BMX style handlebars that maybe you remember when you were a kid. I'm gonna show you the unboxing experience, super easy. All you need to do is attach these handlebars. Stopping power is provided by hydraulic disc brakes. Very happy to see hydraulic disc brakes. There is a motor cutoff as well. So as soon as you hit the brakes, it's gonna cut power to the motor. Now, while this is a left brake lever, it controls the rear brake. This is the only brake on this bike. 160 millimeter hydraulic disc brake in the rear. Plenty of stopping power for what this bike is intended for. It also comes with these kid-sized locking grips on both sides. We have a bell and probably my son's favorite part of this bike was unboxing the duck and putting on his accessories. It'll spin in the wind. He's also got some glasses as well as a chain and even a helmet. Now the display is on the right side with the throttle power button on the top. The bottom displays the current battery capacity, speed front and center. Hitting the bottom button changes how much power you get from the motor. So one bar, lowest amount of power, two in the middle, and three maximum power. I'll go through the top speeds when we get to the first person riding footage. The C1 has this branded elongated moto style seat, foam padded, and in the rear it flares out, perhaps acts a little bit like a rear fender. We've got branding on the down tube here, C1 kids, and on the stay family series, the pegs come pre-installed. Let's dive into the battery if you wanna charge it while it's installed charger port over here on the left side. This is the other side. I have the keys here so I can remove the battery. Put the keys in, turn the key, battery slides out. 
And I was very happy to see the capacity on this battery. 36 volt, 10 amp hours. There's also a display that will give you an idea of the current battery capacity. And of course, if you want to protect this battery, you can pick up one of our e-bike battery bags over at shop.ebikeescape.com. Now this is similar to many shark style batteries. Simply put it in and line up the grooves. But what I really like is once you slide it into place, it automatically locks and you can remove the key. And there's also an itty bitty splash guard right here. Powering the C1 is a 350 watt motor. And yes, we will do a hill climb test with this. I wanna call out some of the other things that I really liked. One is in the rear here, instead of the exposed bolts, we have a cover here. That's of course just one less thing that your child might hit their legs on. There's also these black bars instead of seat stays, which kind of adds to the look. There's the motor cable coming in between the dropout and the motor. As far as cabling goes, it's nice and hidden. It kind of disappears into the rear. And then of course, the integrated cables right into the frame. Himaway also put a sturdy kickstand on the rear, which is more sturdy than we see on some electric bikes. But the more important thing is how does this perform? Is it fun for kids? Let's get into some first person riding footage. Riding in a second, but we need to talk about sizing. We have a four year old, a 10 year old, and on the high end, a 13 year old. Lenny over here is about 42 inches. We'll see how he fits. We got Trey at four foot nine and Levi at five foot seven. We'll see how he fits on this smaller kid's bike. All right, Lenny hop on first. So this is where the sizing is really important because Lenny is 42 inches, but he can't quite touch the ground. So unfortunately he's not going to be able to ride this bike just yet, but he can rest his feet on the pegs. All right, so you need to be a little bit taller for the C1. All right, Trey, let's see how you fit on this bike. And of course he has full leg extension. Put your feet up a little bit just for a second. And we'll see him riding more in a second. And Levi, so he's gonna look huge on this thing. It's not meant for adults, but it does have the weight capacity. So maybe we can convince Levi to do some riding on it, but he's going to top out the uh, height range on this for sure. All right, with that, let's get into some riding, see how this performs. I realize I look absolutely ridiculous on this thing. Cars have been giving me weird looks as well, but I have to try it out before I let the kids try it out. It's kind of like trying your kids Halloween candy before they get to try it. Let's see what this C1 can do. Let's keep in mind, I'm still relatively lightweight at around 145 pounds, but still under the weight capacity. I have the speedometer app by Coolnix to give us speed. And I'm gonna go right ahead and put it in the third power level and see what it can do. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Nice takeoff. Feels like a decent amount of power. 12 miles an hour, 13, 14. 15. And it looks like it's topping out at 15 miles an hour as the top speed in the highest power level. I'm gonna go ahead and do a brake test here where the road isn't wet. See how this brake performs. No problem, just have to be careful locking up the rear wheel because these hydraulic disc brakes are definitely capable of doing so. All right, let's go into the other levels as well. Talk about the top speed in those settings. Here's the first power level. Definitely feels a lot more gentle of a takeoff. So if you're buying this for your kids, I would highly recommend they start off in the first power level, at least until they get comfortable. And the speed is also a lot better for starting off at seven miles an hour. Just feels like a very gentle speed. Perhaps the same speed your kid might be riding their own pedal bike. All right, second level, here we go. Feel a little bit more power, nice in between. And 12 miles an hour, 13. So it looks like it's two miles per hour less than the top speed of 15 miles an hour. So I think they did a good job keeping this as a electric vehicle, electric balance bike that is going to be accessible to a lot of kids and of course capping the top speed. And the power levels feel 
very well thought out. But like all the bikes that we review on the channel, let's get into our hill climb test. And just to know it's not the same hill climb test we normally do, but it is still a plenty steep hill. Here we are at the hill climb test. We're gonna have Trey test this out. He's got some riding in, but first impressions out of 10, what would you give this? Nine. Nine out of 10, all right. We're gonna see how this 350 watt motor performs on this hill. He's got the GoPro on so we can see the speed. He's going to be in the highest level of power so we can truly put the motor to the test. Three, two, one. Just cruising up the hill. This is performing much better. The hill's getting a lot steeper. And uh, on an e-bike. <laughs> with a 500 watt motor. I'm using full throttle here and he's just cruising up the hill. How's the power feel? Good. Yeah. All right. That was really good. I was really impressed. All right, with that, let's get into some third person riding footage. I'll give you my concluding thoughts on the Hemiway C1. This kid's e-bike, electric balance bike, moped, whatever you want to call it, feels like the perfect starting place to get kids on an electric vehicle. Master the balance bike, and once they are tall enough, the C1 increases the fun on two wheels. There's a lot to like here. The motor power up a hill faster than me on a full-sized e-bike, all with a 350 watt motor. The power levels at 7, 13, and 15 miles per hour were good choices, and the battery is much larger than you'd expect. 36 volt, 10 amp hours, and using Samsung and LG cells according to Hemiway. This is just shy of the same capacity you'll find on the XP Lite from Electric. Admittedly a larger e-bike, but it also happens to be the same price, so the price Hemiway landed on for the C1 feels fair. Again, link in the description for any discount codes we can help shave off the $7.99 price point, and we appreciate your support as well. I don't usually call out competitors here, but I feel it's necessary. You might be watching this and also considering the Super 73 K1D. If you haven't heard of it, I'll throw a link down in the description so you can check it out. The K1D has a tiny 2.9 amp hour battery and it's only 32 volts. At 92.8 watt hours, it's a third of the capacity of the C1 and not surprisingly has the Super 73 premium price, $995. They say it's a 750 watt motor and it's a direct drive, which means regenerative braking. It has a mere 75 pound capacity and it too has a rear hydraulic disc brake. It has grippy tires for a more off-road kind of vibe and a twist throttle, which on paper appear to be the biggest differentiators. Full disclosure, I haven't tested a K1D and as an aside, I have nothing against Super 73. I think their e-bikes and the K1D look great. Maybe battery capacity matters less on a kid's product. I'll let you make that call. But the C1 is $200 cheaper and seems like the better value. And if it were my money, this is the route I'd go. Brand wise, Hemiway is a well-known Chinese based e-bike brand and they have come out with some interesting products that are hard to ignore. A kid's bike as a parent of three was clearly hard for me to ignore. My son can't wait until he's just a tad taller so he can ride it himself. He's already mastered pedaling, so I have no doubt he'll be ripping it up on the C1 after some throttle training. Let me know what you think of this one. Hemiway continues to surprise me, and it looks like they have some very interesting things slated for 2024. Stay tuned, help us out by liking and subscribing to the channel, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.